Next bit's a fun bit. Now we get to do the math. So they need 35 to 40 liters of space. So we need to measure this out and determine, do the math to determine how much volume we're going to need. So how long that sideboard is gonna be. I'll put a link up to the math, but I'm gonna pause right now and go do the math and make sure I've got everything right. So the math works out to 46.29 centimeters. All right, I'm gonna take one of these boards I glued together. And the only thing I've got in centimeters is a soft tape measure. 46. And a third to be right about there. All right. So I know how long it needs to be. I need a straight line. Got a piece of board here. Actually, this will be easier. Forty-six and a third, right there. And we line up the two dots. Just like this. All right, that's my cut line. Easy enough. All right, I messed up my calculation. Let's do this again. 46.29 plus the width of the board times two, which is that's three centimeters. So I need to come up and do three centimeters more. Plus three centimeters to make up the width of the board 49.29 all right so i'm going to need 49.29 centimeters of length 49 and a third and a straight edge between those two points one right there one right there Run a, run a line. We have our board at our master length. We're going to use this to go ahead and cut the other board. We should be able to set this up here, mark a line, again, mark that as master so we know what our master board is. All right. Get our master board back out, line it up so I can get two out of these pallet boards. We have our four length boards. We have our four end boards. The rest is going to get easy because I'm going to go get a drill, drill bits, um, screws, and some glue. And we're going to screw all this together and glue it together. Then I'll be down to cutting the top bars. 
And this round, I think I'm going to do the top bars different. The last round for the beehive itself, I ran cleats. These are cleats on top of the top bars to guide the bees and where I wanted them to put the comb. Um, I'm going to try a different method, which is basically running a groove down the length of it. I'm going to go ahead and mark these where they're going to connect. I want to know where I need to drill to make center. I'll go ahead and mark this one at this end too. All right. So I'm actually going to put a couple of holes. through each board is a pilot hole okay so we got the pre-drilled holes what I'm gonna do is take some of these screws make sure they're the right length this time yep that'll work all right so we're gonna put these screws down into these holes that I pre-drilled but not just through until I get a little bit of a point like that sticking out the back side. I'm going to use these to mark the point to pre-drill this board. Line this up at the bottom and press. That should give us marks. Pre-drill those holes. Just a little ways in. I want the screws to go in a little easier. Go ahead and lay a bead of glue on this. I went further than I needed. Line this up. One, two, three, four. So those four are in. We get a good camera angle on it. Um, okay. Get this top one in. And then we will line up for the bottom one. Put it in. We'll do the middle two. Okay, first side is on. Second side will go on a lot easier since I now have a stand that I can put it on. I know you can't see what I'm doing here. I'm lining this board up with the bottom of the box so we have top section. I just drilled two pilot holes. Since I've got this up at an angle now that I can work, I can come in with glue and run the two pilot screws in and then come back and dig the drill the pilot holes for the second set. So we'll line this back up like that. So when you do this, the one thing that I've always noticed is that this last board never really lines up right because of the way things hang. You kind of have to maneuver everything into position. So, with that in mind, I drilled my initial hole at the bottom. I grab a screw from my bag. Go 
go ahead and get it started in this bottom hole. Poking through a little bit. Let's line that up. And run it in. That'll kind of hold everything in place while I do these other holes. Now the hives that I have currently out on my property, I didn't screw together. I uh, used a nail gun to assemble them, which, in all honesty, went a whole lot faster. And for those, I used uh, one and a half inch hot dip galvanized ring shank plastic coated nails. which are exterior grade nails for doing like decks. Well, actually they are the nails that I used to do the deck on the cabin. So that's where they came from, leftovers. All right, let's get these last two in. Okay, and that's the basic design.